Hi guys, it's raining outside, so I've got a little project I can do some work on indoors, but we can't test it until we go out again. I've been and bought another Poundland twin pack pair of diamond kites. In fact, this particular pound land is selling everything at 90 pence at the moment because they've got a pound world has opened up next door and they're having a bit of a price battle. So these only cost me 90 pence or 45 pence each. I've also got some pound land bamboo sticks, 60 centimeters long. And what I was going to try and do when I tried one of these packs the other day, I found that the bamboo canes, they'd cut them so precisely, they were all a little bit loose when you'd assembled the kite. And I was wondering what would happen if we made slightly longer canes, so it was a tight fit instead of a loose fit. See if that would actually stabilize it a bit in flight because it holds the shape better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open one of these and replace the canes with ones cut just a tiny bit over length. In fact, I'm actually thinking about the long cane is in two pieces in the kit. And I'm thinking I might drill the center of the plastic um, former out so I can push a cane all the way through. I'll think about that when I actually start working on it. I'm afraid you'll have to put up the sound effects, <laughs> the rain. Right, well the first problem is, I can't do a single cane as the replacement because my canes are not quite long enough to replace the canes that are in the kit in one go. So what I will do is I'll cut each of these canes, I'll recut them using my garden canes, but I'll cut each of them just a tiny bit longer maybe an eighth of an inch longer so that it's a tight fit in here. I'll put it together and show you what I mean. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> that one's a lot tighter than the ones I opened last, uh, when was it? A couple of days ago. So that's been cut to a different, um, different length anyway. As you might be able to see, that one's much too long. So this is the complete opposite to the ones that I opened the other day. So I can forget about that idea. That's a really tight fit. In fact, that angle looks a bit over the top, doesn't it? If we look from the side. That's really bowed.
Well, that's amazing. I had this idea in the shop that we'd make it up with longer canes to make it a tight fit. And this one already is. I might measure them in a minute, see how they compare. Well, I'll have a look at the other one while we're at it. The other thing I'll check is the length of these strings, because the last pack I opened, these strings were only about between 9 and 10 metres long, which were much too short for flying a kite. Alright, so that one says fly. And this one says whoosh. Yeah, this one's much longer as well. Much longer. Yeah, you can see that's a quite springy in there. If I push that right home, that'll spring the right way. And we've got the bowed shape for the kite. Although I, I don't like that how bowed that is, it's a bit more than I'd have liked. But that's completely destroyed what I was going to do. Uh, let's move the camera back a bit. Yeah, completely destroyed what I was going to do. I was going to use the bamboo canes to cut each of these a little bit longer than they were in the pack to make them tight like that. So obviously they've got several different manufacturers making the same kites. Because the ones that were short that I had the other day were it was a Captain America type shield printed on it and skull and crossbones. And these are completely different. Exactly the same design but they've used slightly longer bamboo canes and it's a nice tight fit. I mean it'll all go loose once the wind's been blowing on it and the plastic's stretched a little bit. but they look alright. I'll check the length of the um, strings now. Right, we're only looking at a fairly rough measurement here, but my kitchen to my conservatory door is about 8 metres, it's slightly more. I've gone up and down three times so far, so that's about 24 metres. And we're just coming on the last length, see how far we can go. <laughs> Great. Well, that was worth testing anyway. We've got about... Let's pick that up. 8 threes are 24. 25, 26, we're about 27 metres. We're slightly short of the 30 metre uh, maximum or nominal length. And it wasn't tied off properly. So if you'd have been flying this first time out of the bag, you'd have lost it because that came off the handle. So, 
We'll give them a bonus point for cutting their bamboo canes a little bit longer this time. We'll give them a negative point for the fact that the um, line wasn't tied off on the handle. I've actually rewound it on this handle that I had. This is from a um, crab line. So next thing we'll do is actually tie the bridle. This is what they've given us to tie the bridle with, which looks to me like two bits of cotton or line. Yeah, two bits of line with no guidance on how to tie it. In fact, if you look at the picture, you would, it appears you tied this directly onto there, and that ain't right. Slight change of mind. Originally, I was going to use this bridle as a single thickness. But now that I've actually looked at it and measured it up, we can use it as a double thickness bridle to give it extra strength. I've tied it off at this end. I'll push it through the hole. And I'll actually show you tying it off at this end. We need to keep these the same length, if that makes any sense. Let's zoom in a bit. Right, the knot I use, over, round, hold it so we can cross it over, go round again and bring it through the gap. So when we pull it tight, we've got that cross. And just to hold it, I'll give it an extra hitch. Just move that along so it lines up with the hole. Now we need to decide where we're going to attach the flying line to get the right angle of attack. Now there's no information there's no instructions, but my understanding is this bit at the back needs to be longer than this bit at the front so that we have the right angle when it's in the wind. If it's too far back, the kite tries to go up at a very steep angle, and if it's too far forwards, the kite's trying to fly towards you. So somewhere between the two is the ideal position. And one, one way of doing that is to put something on here, a loop or a ring, that you can then adjust. I've got some curtain rings, little brass curtain rings. Well, they're probably not real brass nowadays. But if we push that through, and then back over like that. That's going to hold itself in place, but you can actually push it to release it and then adjust the tension, the position. Okay, so that's how I intend to adjust the angle of attack. Next thing is, how do we attach the line to that? And what I would suggest is just tie a loop in this, nice big loose loop like that and then that 
you've got two choices. You can push it through there and that will hold it in place or you hear that rain out there take that loop loop it over itself like that and then put the whole ring through and it's actually pulling back there and that's going to hold it in place too so you've got a couple of choices there the important thing is you should be able to push this back on itself to get it off again and to be honest with this soft cotton that they've given us here instead of nice terraline or nylon or whatever it is normally that's a bit of a problem it's only because it's so soft it starts coming apart but once you've got it loose you should be able to get it off again Still, we can't demonstrate because it's raining. I nearly forgot. We've got the tails to fit, haven't we? They've given us twin tails. And they obviously just go on the back end here.